Let us consider an overdraft balance. What happens when we have an overdraft balance? Withdrawals increase an overdraft balance and deposits decrease an overdraft balance. Now, what does that mean? Let us take an example. Suppose we have an overdraft of 10,000 rupees. We issue checks worth 3,000. So there is more draw, more withdrawal. So the 10,000 now becomes 13,000 overdraft. 13,000 overdraft. Now suppose we deposit another check from this 13,000. We deposit a check of 2,000. The moment we deposit a check, the overdraft comes down to 11,000. So whenever we deposit, they decrease an overdraft balance. Whenever we withdraw, they increase an overdraft balance. Keeping this in mind, how do we prepare a bank reconciliation statement? And does the logic that we said before hold good now? <clears throat> Let us take an unfavorable balance, an overdraft balance. What we suggest is... <clears throat> While preparing a bank reconciliation statement, we stick to the same format and the same concept of adding and subtracting, the same logic that we used before in case of favorable balance. However, what we suggest is that you use <coughs> a negative figure, a minus sign to indicate the overdraft. In this example, we have started with an overdraft as per cash book of 30,000. Therefore, we have indicated this with a minus figure. Now, when checks are issued and not presented, what happens normally? Let us consider when checks are issued, the cash book balance comes down. The passbook is here. We have started with a cash book and therefore, to arrive, you started with a cash book. To arrive at the passbook, we would add checks issued, not presented. And that is what we have done here. We have added 18,000, but we have added 18,000 to minus 30,000. We have added 18,000 to minus 30,000. So that what is the net effect? The net effect is that there is an overdraft of 12,000. So though we have added in the presentation, we show this as an add item. It is being added to a negative balance. Therefore, in effect, we are subtracting. So if in an exam, we are asked, if checks, if you start with an overdraft balance as per cash book and checks are issued but not presented, will you add or deduct? The answer would be deduct. Whatever you do to a favorable balance, you do the reverse in case of an overdraft balance. Suppose I, we were not to write this overdraft as a negative figure. We were to write it as 30,000, but it's an overdraft balance. Checks are issued, not presented. Let us understand logically what is happening to the overdraft balance. So what has happened in the cash book? When we issued the checks, the overdraft went up. When we issued the check, the overdraft increased. We started from the cash book. To arrive at the passbook, we should deduct. So we deduct 18,000. Net effect is an overdraft of 12,000. Minus 30 plus 18 also gave you minus 12,000. The only thing is, in our presentation, we start with a minus sign. If we end with a minus sign, it would mean an overdraft in the other book too. If you start with this minus and end with a positive balance, that would mean a favorable balance in the other. So please note that we need not change the rules in order to prepare a bank reconciliation statement. We can stick to the same logic of adding and subtracting. However, if you're starting with an overdraft balance, please proceed it with a minus sign. Indicate it in brackets. So in effect, when you say you are adding the checks issued not presented 18,000 
to minus 30,000, you are adding 18,000, you are in effect subtracting. <coughs> Let's take another example. Dividend collected by the bank, 1,000. What happens when dividend is collected by the bank? Ordinary balance, the passbook balance would have gone up. You started with the cash book in order to reach the passbook you would add. So you've added the dividend collected by the bank, 1,000. But what have you done in effect? You have a minus 30,000 plus 1,000. So now you have a minus 29,000. Your overdraft has come down. Your overdraft has come down. Therefore, I repeat, when we prepare a bank reconciliation statement, we can stick to the same logic that we do for a favorable balance, provided we write minus or we proceed the overdraft with a minus sign to indicate the overdraft. Direct payment into the bank by a customer. What has happened when there is direct payment? The passbook balance has gone up. This is in case it was a favorable balance and we are sticking to the same logic. So the balance has gone up. You started from the cash book in order to reach the passbook we had. So we add this direct payment into the bank by customer 15,000. I repeat, we are adding it to minus 30,000 so that in effect, the overdraft is being reduced by 15,000. So if there is a question, if there is a question, overdraft as per cash book is given to you or we begin with an overdraft as per cash book, if there is a direct payment into the bank by a customer, what do we say? We, we, we think about what would happen logically in case if it's a favorable balance and we do just the reverse. So what happens if you have a balance as per cash book? You start with a balance as per cash book. If there is a direct payment into the bank by the customer, passbook balance is up, cash book is down. In order to reach the passbook balance, you would ordinarily add However, if it's an overdraft balance, you would deduct. You would deduct. So if you're asked a question individually, you would say it is deduct. It is the reverse of what you do in case of a favorable balance. However, when you make a statement and you're starting with an overdraft balance, you can stick to the same logic provided you start with a minus figure. Because then in effect, a minus and a plus you are actually deducting and not adding. Let's take a reverse case. Checks deposited, not cleared. What happens when checks are deposited and not cleared? You've deposited the checks. The cash book balance has gone up. Passbook, there is no entry. So in order from cash book to passbook, we deduct. Therefore, here we have shown the deduction. Deducting of checks deposited, not cleared. But let us consider the balance. <coughs> as per an overdraft without the minus sign. What happens then? Now checks are deposited not cleared. The moment checks were deposited into an overdrawn account, the overdraft balance of the cash book has come down. The overdraft has come down. You started from the cash book to reach the passbook you would have to add. So what happens? You would have had an overdraft balance. Suppose we start of 30,000, you would say, plus 8,000 and it would be 38,000. What happens here? Here you have minus 30,000. You deduct 8,000 minus 30,000 minus 8,000. Again, gives you minus 38,000, which is the same thing. Because when we are making a statement in this manner, the negative balance is represented by a minus sign. Overdraft balance is represented by a minus. Overdraft interest. What happens in case of overdraft interest? That's charged by the bank. If I think it's a favorable balance, my passbook balance would have come down. I have started from the cash book, therefore I would deduct. So overdraft interest has been deducted by 500. However, if I want to explain from an overdraft point of view, if I start with an overdraft, with an overdraft interest, the passbook overdraft is increased because it's a charge for the drawing. Therefore, the overdraft 
has increased passbook from cash book to passbook i would add so i would say 30000 plus 500 overdraft has become 30500 in effect if you take minus 30000 minus 500 again this is minus 35000 net effect is the same finally after these computations when i get a balance if this balance is positive it would be a favorable balance if it is negative it is an overdraft balance so we repeat we can if there is an overdraft balance we can stick to the same logic that we do in case of a favorable balance provided we proceed the overdraft balance with a minus sign however for individual items if we are asked a question on a treatment of an individual item it is best that we think about what we would do if the balance was favorable and do just the reverse if the balance is over here again we have made a presentation where we have made a bank reconciliation statement using the same principles as if they were a favorable balance but we have started the balance or preceded the opening balance with a minus sign to indicate the overdraft at the same time on this area shaded in yellow you will see that we have considered an overdraft balance we will discuss the logic for both an overdraft as per passbook 7100 so what we have done is that as we have shown here overdraft is represented by a minus sign or it is shown in brackets checks deposited not cleared as before when checks are deposited the cash book balance goes up passbook is here but we have started from the passbook to reach the cash book we would add so we have added checks deposited not cleared in this example here when we say we have added i repeat we are adding 18000 to minus 7100 if we were to think of this only from the overdraft point of view then what do we say we have an overdraft as per passbook 7100 the moment checks are deposited the overdraft balance in the cash book comes down the overdraft balance in the cash book comes down we have started from the pass book therefore to arrive at this we would deduct that is why we have deducted here or alternatively if you say the cash book when checks are deposited cash book balance goes up pass book balance is down you have started from the pass book ordinarily you would add but because it is an overdraft you are deducting that's exactly what we have done when overdraft interest is charged by the bank when overdraft interest is charged by the bank the passbook balance comes down this is we are not considering overdraft we are taking an ordinary favorable balance Now we have started from the passbook in order to reach the cash book we had. Therefore, we have added two hundred. But let us again consider the other logic where you have an overdraft balance open. The moment you charge overdraft interest, the passbook overdraft goes up. Passbook overdraft goes up because interest has been charged. You started from the passbook to arrive at the cash book. You would deduct. that is what has been done here you have we have that is what we do we have deducted 200 or again like we said in case of individual cases we think what is to be done in a favorable balance and then we do just the reverse for an overdraft balance overdraft interest charged by the bank the moment it is charged the passbook balance ordinary balance would have come down cash book is here you would normally if you started from the pass book add but in this instance you would subtract i repeat individual question with one item this is what if you are asked whether to add or subtract 
you will consider what would be done for an over or for a favorable balance and do the reverse for an overdraw. Again, checks issued, not present. Moment checks are issued and not presented, the cash book balance comes down if it was a favorable balance. The passbook is here. You started from the passbook in order to reach the cash book, you would deduct. So you've started and you have deducted here 2000. You started with minus 7100, minus 2000. In effect, it is minus 9100. In effect, you are adding. Let us consider where we have started in this example, where we've started with an overdraft balance of 7100. When you start with a balance of 7100, an overdraft balance of 7100, what happens to the checks which are issued and not presented? When we issue checks not presented the, in the cash book, the overdraft goes up. You started from the passbook in order to reach the cash book, we would add. We have added 2000. Receipt side of the cash book is undercast. This is a new one, not discussed errors before. If the receipt side of the cash book is undercast, it means in the cash book, the deposits are less, the balance has come down. We started from the passbook and therefore we would deduct in case of an ordinary balance. We have deducted in case of this ordinary balance. But when we deduct in case of an ordinary balance, we would add in case of an overdraft balance if asked individually. We can think of this again considering an overdraft balance. We've got an overdraft as per passbook of 7100. If the receipt side of the cash book is undercast, if the receipt side of the cash book is undercast, it means less deposit or more overdraft. Less deposit or more overdraft. We start from the passbook. In order to reach the cash book, we would add. And therefore, here we have added 1800. Similarly, a direct payment into the bank by a customer. Ordinarily, favorable balance. Let us see what happens. Direct payment into the bank by a customer, the passbook balance goes up. Cash book is here. We've started from the passbook and therefore we deduct. We deduct 5,000 minus 5,000 minus 7,100. As we said before, is nothing but an addition. 7,100 when we start with an overdraft balance. If you consider when there is a direct payment into the bank by the customer, the passbook overdraft comes down. The passbook overdraft comes down. From passbook to cash book, we would add. And therefore, net effect that we get is 2,300 here. This is a favorable balance. You we started with an overdraft balance. A minus figure ended with a favorable balance as per the cash book. But if we prepare a statement in this manner, where we start with an overdraft figure, we reverse whatever we do for the, whatever we do when we start with a favorable balance, we do the reverse in case of an overdraft. The net effect is the same, only we started with a positive figure, we end with a minus figure, indicating that the starting was an overdraft, this is now a positive. Repeat, it is suggested that we stick to the same one logic in case of preparing of a bank reconciliation statement. The same logic that we use for favorable balance. However, we precede an overdraft balance with a minus sign. We write it very clearly in this statement also. Balance and an overdraft indicated in brackets. Both when we begin and when we arrive at the conclusion.